mind, the motherfucker move. Well, the motherfucker mind, the mo they can all bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying, but like, I've been out here every motherfucking day, dude. I've been out here, uh, motherfucking hustling, man. I've been out here giving no fucks, man. And the, the motherfucker out here, they think that a motherfucker full of shit. They think, uh, they think, you know, I'm a, I'm a busser, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bitch. And so, uh, they motherfucker, man, they be thinking I ain't Will, man. Motherfucker, I'm Will as motherfucking shit, dog. What's up, guys? I meet a lot of crazy motherfuckers here in Portland, Oregon. Because as you know, <laughs> there's a shit ton of homeless people here. A lot of them are drug addicts. And I came across this guy today. <laughs> I came across a couple crazy motherfuckers today. I just thought I, I just thought I'd talk about it, man. It's fucking hilarious to me. I came across a guy, and he was just standing by himself, and he was he was uh, he was a white dude, but I could tell he was like a hood white dude. I could tell he was the kind of white guy that probably grew up around a lot of black people. Like in an urban area. That's just that's just my perspective. Maybe I'm wrong. But he's just standing there doing this like this. He's about ball fucker, but the good motherfucker be thinking that I will, man. I'm like, I'm a motherfucking gangster, man. Like, they're gonna be thinking that I'm full of shit, and I ain't. I for will, dude. And like, fuck your motherfucking mama, dog. Like, straight up. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, I, I, and I'm just like... <clears throat> it's like, dude, what the fuck? You know, are you serious, man? So, I can't... <laughs> So I was walking down the riverside, there's actually a big old concert going on, and I was informed that last night a gentleman by the name of Iggy Pop was playing here. I didn't even know, so sorry Mr. Tom O'Connell, you know who you are sir. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know the fuck Iggy, I mean like, like, I know who he is, I digress, I don't care, I'm gonna change, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on point here. I walked across the riverside today, and I came across this homeless guy, and I'm wearing my pink sunglasses, like I have on my, my trademark pink sunglasses. Alright, I'm walking, shoulders back, chest out, hanging to the left. Alright, that's right, hanging to the left today, ladies and, and gentlemen. You know, you know how I walk. I walk with my swag and this guy, this blonde, I'm, I'm trying to paint a picture. He was a little shorter than me, blonde, long blonde hair guy. Had a bunch of, like, shit on his back, like trash bags and fucking a backpack and trash bags filled with cans and bottles and shit. And I'm walking, and, and I see him kind of, like, looking at me, and he's, he's, like, pacing back and forth as I'm walking towards him. He's like, yeah, fucking do it. Fucking take a picture, man. I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, fucking take a picture, bro. Like, fucking, like, why are you staring at me, man? Fuck, dude. Like. And he was, like, freaking out. So he started walking towards me, and this dude was clearly crazy to me. Or on something. Possibly both. So I'm like, I take off my headphone and I kind of take, I've kind of put my left foot behind my right foot. Just, that's just my, my instinct. And I thought maybe he was going to walk up to me. He's like, yeah, man, it's fucking 50 cents, man. 50 cents. You want to take a picture? You keep fucking staring at me, man. You keep fucking staring at me, dude. So all I did, so all I did is I, is I simply, I, I put my sunglasses down. I put my earpiece in and I sniffed. I went and I just walked away have a nice day buddy I mean there's some crazy motherfuckers here man now another thing I want to talk about too is just the other night as a lot of you know I put out a video and I was talking about how I didn't have a place to stay at the time and uh, and that and that's what I thought because um, I said that somebody that I know here didn't uh, you know didn't didn't basically pull through with what they said and they ended up doing that and I'll just leave it at that so I do have a place to stay everything's cool I do plan on staying here in Portland for the time being um, I'm not homeless I just wanted to give everybody a little update and I do want to say that I really do appreciate everybody trying to help me that you know like I know some people don't care I know some people laugh and like yeah we want to see him kill himself we can't wait for the live suicide video but then there's other people out there you know who actually wanted to like help like send me money basically to help me and I and I you know I didn't accept it maybe it's a little prideful but I do just want to let everybody know that I do appreciate it and that I am thankful that I have a this kind of outlet to reach people so anyways guys I just thought I'd tell you a couple crazy motherfuckers I met man it seems like every time 
I get on the bus here or the train, <laughs> I always be a crazy motherfucker, man. There's been so many times where I meet somebody on, on the bus and they seem perfectly nice. And then within about five minutes of talking to them or just simply being in their presence, you yo, oh, this is a crazy person. They're high as fuck. I met this dude. I met this black dude. I met a brother. His name was Kwame. He was a nice guy. Nice guy. I was on my way to sell some artwork at the Portland Art, the Portland Saturday Market a couple weeks ago. And I'm, I see this black guy on the bus. I sit next to him, whatever. And he, he's a nice guy, whatever. And he's like, hey, man, uh, can, you, can you help out? Uh, can you help out somebody with a buck? He's like, he's like, can you help out a homeless guy with a buck? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man. I gave, you know, I gave him a dollar, whatever. He's like, yeah, man. You know, I really like your style, man. I like your style, man. I'm Kwame. That's how we talked. And I was like, yeah, I'm brave, man. I, you know, nice to meet you, whatever. And then he starts talking about how all he likes to do. I mean, he was just going on about. It. He just likes to fuck bitches, man. He likes to smoke weed. He likes to fuck bitches. And I was like, and he, he was telling me that day, he was like, man, look, everywhere I go, man, look, you better hide your girl, man. You better hide your girl, because I'm going I'm to steal your bitch. That's what he's, I was like, he's like, I'm going to steal your bitch. <laughs> and I was like, man, well, what if she's got a boyfriend? That's kind of fucked up. And he's like, yeah, that's fucked up, but fuck it. And I was like, this guy, this guy's probably a little sleazy. And then I said something like, no, no, he, he, he asked me, he said, he said, you smoke weed, man? You smoke weed? I was like, yeah, I smoke weed. I just smoked some, uh... I told him that I had some Lemon Betty, which is a really good sativa. I had some Lemon Betty just before I got on the bus. He's like, yeah, man, I just bought a pound of Gorilla Glue, too. He's like, yeah, it's pretty cool that Oregon has, you know, pot legal, huh? And he says, yeah, man. He starts scratching his neck. He's like, yeah, man. It'd be cool if they legalize crack, too. And I'm thinking like, huh, okay, I just gave him a dollar for crack, okay. And then, and then as I, after he says that, I start to notice He's got these off-pattern twitches in his jaw and the hand hand movements, and I could see because he stands up because we get off the bus to transfer to the train, you know. And then I could just see him. He just kind of like he just kind of like this with his arms, just like you know. And I, I could tell he's on something. I could tell he's either on something or coming off something. And that's kind of when I realized, like, oh, it's a nice guy, but, oh, he's also crazy and he's on drugs. So every time I get on the bus here, every time I walk here downtown, I always meet some interesting people. So I don't know, man. That's that's definitely something cool about Portland is that, or I, I guess any big city, really. Is like, like, you're going to see some fucked up people, but it's also good to get that perspective because obviously it makes you thankful that you're not them. And it it shows you what, it shows me at least what, what not to be. Like, don't be a guy walking around with trash bags full of cans on his back saying, Take a fucking picture, man! You fucking staring at me, dude! You little fucking bitch, man. And I'm, and I'm just like... Anyways, on to the next, so... Anyways, y'all, shout out to Portland, shout out to all my fans who tried to help me out, guys. Um, and as far as my YouTube channel, No Joke Howard TV, I know I made a video where I said I had a, pay, a paid subscription. I understand the issue. I do not know why. Uh, I have no idea why people are not able to subscribe to it. I'm in the process of trying to figure that out right now. So please be patient. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very frustrated by this because I've told people about it and now it's not working. It's a little embarrassing to be honest. So uh, hang, hang in there and I'll try to resolve the issue ASAP, guys. No joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches. Instagram at Ketamind by Brayton and at Brayton Howard. I have two Instagrams in the description box below. Please check it out. Facebook.com slash No Joke Howard, y'all. Please like and share. Subscribe to my fucking YouTube channel, guys. Tell your friends, your mothers, your friends, and your mothers and your friends. Peace.